So let's just say, time has come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shave, we're shaving our heads. This is our barber. It's my brother Wesley. Come say hello to the camera. Hey guys. Wesley has shaved his head once. And that's more times than any of us have shaved our heads. Oh, dude, this is kind of looking Not sick. A crisp, dude. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like four is still a cop off. Like, we gotta go. Yeah, give me that low. four then. Give me that I four. did a four and it was pretty low. Yeah, they don't know what they're getting into at all. Oh! <laughs> 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 yeah, that's a little I told you, <laughs> man. <laughs> Let him see your <laughs> I like how nobody said, dude, that looks kind of good on you, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's a little uneven, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, that, that deserves a barber. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you know, I thought you were giving me a fade. Oh, looks better. Thanks, barber. Your hair does not look that bad. The front of your head does not look right that bad. Right here is... <laughs> <laughs> The barber did you dirty on the back, I ain't gonna lie. Literally <laughs> met this guy today, now I'm shaving his head, all right, let's get it. <laughs> oh, all right, dude, you ready? Yeah, let's right. do it. You definitely don't want to hear your barber say, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, this is kind of fire, though, dude. <laughs> oh, oh. Let's go, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. You said a thick spot, it's fine. I didn't do anything. I ran into your tumor. <laughs> like this? Yep. All right, Barbara. See you next week. <laughs> Shouts out Barbara Wes. He got us right. This is nice. It's like the start of a new chapter. Now that Felix is here, we're going get, to be getting a lot of music done, a lot of videos done, and we're going to have a new cut while we do it. Yeah. So. We are oh, roommates. That was weird. We're roommates. We are roommates. And... We have shaved heads. Yeah, that's that part's not so cool. Yeah, this is wild, dude. This is absurd. Yeah. This has been in in motion for like half a year. Yeah, we've been making moves in silence. To think that this would be where we're at right now. Yeah. Roommates after we just met each other for the first time like two years ago. Three years ago, I sent this guy a DM on Instagram just saying like, hey, I love your videos. We should do a video together. And then three years later, we are living in OKC, which is a weird spot to be, but it is, you know, it does have the most history. So like a central hub for all things Yeah, I think music. globally. Top two music cities in the world. If you saw my last video talking about leaving Nashville, then you saw that I was living with my brother Caleb. Our parents hit us up and told us, hey, we're renting out this house. The family that's living here is moving out and Nashville was getting really expensive and there's four bedrooms at this house. Caleb and I started talking about roommates and I was thinking about you. I was like, that'd be pretty cool if Felix moved in with us. You were kind of down. I mean, it was pretty wild. At first I was like, dude, that's insane to just move like 800 miles away. Yeah. But also at the end of the day, it's like, that's what I'm here for. You know, I'm here to like, to like chase my dreams mm -hmm. and like make music, make videos, do the stuff that I've always wanted to do. And the logical next step is like move in with somebody who is also on the same path. It's it's been it's been fun. We've been here for like three weeks. Um, I'm excited for y'all to meet Cole, who's our other roommate. And then y'all haven't even met my brother Caleb. He doesn't really like being on camera, but we'll bring him in for sure. Bring him. We'll kidnap him. And when I DM'd you, it was it was a weird thing. I was just like, hey, I love your videos. We should do a collab video, and we did end up doing a collab video a while ago. It was all done on Skype. And then that naturally led to the cabin trip. Which was super sick. Probably one of the best times of my life, for sure. 
Same here. Well, also, that was the first time we ever met in person, which is wild. Yeah. We could have gotten murdered by this random guy. But yeah, the cabin trip was sick. And we also, we made so much music. And we made, I don't even know if we've said this, but we made an entire documentary about it. We did. And we were planning on both releasing, like, our own versions of the documentary. But the documentary was based off all of the songs we made at the cabin. The only songs y'all have heard were Every Moment in San Francisco. We made like seven other songs, but over time we just kind of lost love for them. They're still in the vault, so eventually y'all might y'all might hear them. Every moment was the first song that we ever put out. Pretty much the, the first song that we ever fully made together, mm -hmm. and it went crazy. Obviously, a lot thanks to you guys, and that really sh like showed me like, okay, dude, the very first song that me and yeah. this guy make together are fire. Yeah, let's just write one right now. Yeah. And that's my phone. Some <laughs> Hello, didn't see you there. We are playing the piano. So you might be wondering what is the main goal of OKC? What is the uh, what are the big dreams? And we've got a lot of dreams, we've got a lot of different possibilities, but a lot of hoop dreams. I got I got some hoop dreams. Yeah, that I'm gonna become a uh, NBA basketball. There's a bunch of different plans and goals, but really the main one is just to make music. After making every moment together, we just realized how well we make music together and also the potentials of the songs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we have the potentials of this song. After, after the cabin trip and after you came to Chicago, we just really realized all right, we, we work very well together. Whether it's music or whether it's videos or whatever, we always come up with some creative way to approach whatever we're doing. Mm -hmm. And I think we would do that anyways, but both of us together, it creates something completely new. Yeah. Every time, pretty much. And also, you just forget how fun it is to just jam out with somebody. Yeah. And make music with other people instead of in your own bedroom. Yeah, I, it's so much fun. I think that, like, that's one thing that we've definitely missed out on, being, like, hermits. I mean... Just locking ourselves in our bedrooms for years at a time to get to where we are now. Yeah. But honestly, it's you can only do that for so long to mm -hmm. the point when you're like, all right, I need to like get out there and like have a social aspect to this whole career thing I'm doing. Yeah, I need to talk to someone. I need to today. <laughs> learn how to talk to women. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I always think about is every different art form. It's all about the story. And if you don't have an exciting story to tell, yeah. then you don't really have anything to make art around. And so I always try to like remind myself that when I'm like, when it's 3 a.m. and I'm locked in finishing a video, I'm like, yeah. dude, you gotta also like live life. So yeah, that's why one of our main goals other than making music is performing music. We yeah. really are gonna try to get into the OKC live scene. And neither of us have ever performed live before too. Yeah. I, people ask me about that. Some of you guys ask me, you're like, dude, have you done any like live stuff or like mm -hmm. whatever? Like what's your like musical experience? And I'm like, dude, I have been locked in my bedroom since I was 16. Exactly. So. Again, it's, it's give and take because it's allowed us to, to, to get to this point and it's allowed us to learn how to mix music, yeah. learn how to produce it. We've got the reps with the yeah. production side, but we have zero reps with the performing side. Regardless of everything that you guys see on camera, we're just like really good friends. Like we're boys. Yeah. And being able to like be in the same space, living together and just like hanging out with your boys is so much fun. It's just gonna make both of our videos so much more interesting. Yeah. Having the real life stuff to mix in with the, you know, in the dog kind of stuff that we totally. usually do. Also, if you're if you're in the OKC area, we're we're trying to get into the live scene. So if if you know if you got a little shoe in, a little nepotism, hit us up. Let us let us get in there. Also if you're just from the OKC area, come to our shows. If if we ever announce it on Instagram or our channels, show up because it would be helpful. Yeah. Leave a comment if you're from Oklahoma. If you're around here, let us know. Cause shoot us a DM. Start, yeah, shoot us a DM. Slide in our DMs real quick. Yeah, especially if you're <sighs> if you're a, a hot chick. Ah. This is just very, very exciting. Um, so many possibilities and all thanks to y'all, to everybody who has been supporting both mine and Fizo's channel from the jump. Um, y'all are the reason that this is possible. Y'all are the reason that two kids with high school diplomas are still chasing after their dreams, making YouTube videos and music. I mean, I don't know how we do it, but y'all are the reason. Yeah, we wouldn't have the opportunity to chase our dreams like we're doing now without any of you. So, I mean, I'm forever grateful for that, so.
Zoolmates for life. S stay tuned. Stay I mean... We have a lot of really exciting stuff coming. Yeah, I've been saying stay tuned for the past half year. Letting y'all know that something really exciting is coming, and here it is. This is it. So keep staying tuned. Just yeah. Stay tuned. Now stay tuned Continue and to know. Stay tuned. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned some more now. Stay tuned.